Welcome to Long Time No Play, The Goonies 2. This is Ron Moore, and it's been forever since I played this game, as you can tell, because this is a Long Time No Play. I can't remember when the last time I played it, it must have been maybe in the late, or early 90s, late 80s. Um, man, she's hot. And, so apparently this is, this is the sequel to the movie. And when I was a kid, I was chronologically, chronologically confused. Because I played this game first before I ever saw the movie. And there is no Goonies 2, even though there might be a sequel coming out, but I'll get to that later. Um, I didn't see the movies to the, the movie to much, much later after um, I played this game. And so, I think I first saw the movie 96, 97, somewhere around there. And I love this track right here. This is the 8-bit version of Cindy Lauper's Goonies Are Good Enough. And, so yeah, I mean, I thought, so when I seen the video game The Goonies 2, I thought it was based off a movie called The Goonies 2, so therefore I thought there was a sequel to the movie, but apparently not. This game's a sequel to the movie, which blows my mind. Anyway, yeah, so, I was never good at this game, and I'm probably not going to be good at it in, in this video either. So, let's see how far I get. Um, I remember seeing part of this game in a Bubbo's Big Adventure, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so when I was a kid, maybe even now, I was never really good at adventure games. And this was one of them. I was never good at these type of games. I never got far. I died a lot. Definitely was not good um, at this game. I don't think I've seen the whole the whole game. I've never seen anybody. I'm sure it, there is walkthroughs on YouTube, but I've never seen it. I've never seen the whole game. Um, so after this long time no play, I'm going to go and take a look on YouTube just to see what the rest of the game looks like. Yeah, this game has a good soundtrack. I think we Guy did a 8-bit stereo with this game. If you did, I'll be sure to put that in the description box. So I wasn't really paying attention. The storyline here is that ugly woman wants to get revenge on the Goonies, so they kidnapped one of them. And I guess you have to go rescue her. So I gotta fight spiders here. And the game reminds me of Star Tropics. And I think this game came out. Yeah, it came out two years after. No, I'm sorry. This came out two years before Star Tropics. So Star Tropics ripped off the Goonies. No, I was kidding. Okay, as we get past that Shadowgate esque part of the game, back to this awesome track again. Dang it, freaking Ninja Gaiden birds. Who's that? It's one of the bad guys from the from the movie. Whoa. Okay, cool. Warp zone. Uh, thanks for warping me nowhere. Let me try that again. Come on, it's gotta be more than that. Trying to, yeah, there we go. I was trying to do that. Select the menu again. I just hit him in the freaking face. Ouch! What? What do you do? What? What is this Simon's quest? We got a bunch of typos now in here. Let's get the heck out of here. This part of the game right here reminds me of a. Uh, one of the Ninja Turtles levels. The first Ninja Turtles level in the first Ninja Turtles game. This part in one of the buildings you go into. Then again, this is also made by, I think, Konami Ultra Soft, I think. Whatever. Of 
course. Well, I'm kind of stuck. Whoa. Alright, kill that thing with the Oreo. I mean, Oreo. Yo yo, whatever it was, Oreo. Yeah, I'm using the Oreo to kill stuff. Whoa, that's close. Dang it, another dead end, really? Hmm. I think I thought there might have been room down there, just like in Worm, journey to the center of the earth. But you drop down there, it looks like a pit, but it's not, it's a room to another uh, part of the game. Oh, dead end. I thought it was a dead end over there, I didn't go over here. <laughs> Okay. That's the safe gives me some advice. I guess it's safe to say that this game is going to help me out. Whoa. At least this platform controls is not as definitely uh, not as uh, stiff or awkward like in Mario Land. Love this upbeat music. Whoa, haha, -ha, sucker. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. Ah! Forget it. I'm going to go over here, check something out. Alright, I killed that cloud. Whoa! Here we go. Yes! Slingshot. So now you're playing as... Mike from Star Tropics. Who? Very not, sorry. Yeah, I don't have glasses. Hmm. Yo yo. Alright, oh, slingshot in handy. I only got 39 uh, pellets or whatever I'm shooting. This guy again. Really, we actually warned me this time? Oh, nice. Alright. I love this track right here. Ouch, what? Snake didn't touch me. What? Come on. I'm just like CM Punk in wrestling. Nobody can touch me. Dang it. Oh, that's water gonna hurt me. A phone call? Oh wait, I think that means my energy is low. Pretty cool part of the game here. All right, Let's see what's in this door now. That music is pretty eerie. Here we go again. I mean, to leave out there. Ah. 
I don't remember if there were clues in the walls to where you can hit them, or what, like in Zelda there's a little cracks in the walls to where you can bomb them. I don't remember that in the Goonies if there were clues or not, so I'm just hitting things like an idiot. <laughs> Oh, nice. Ah, come on. Oh, I thought it died. That was him that died or dying or... Oh, no, he's not dead yet. Oh, look out. What do you do? I hit you, that's what I do. All right, oh, whoa, okay. Welcome to Indiana Jones for the NES. Ah, dang it. Oh, whoa, wow, good one, Ronnie, good one. Whoa. All right, Mrs. Beavis. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another go here. Oh, oh, look at that. Jump backwards. What? Uh. Mm. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, great. I need a torch. Whoa. What the heck is that? Oh, cool. Thanks, Super Goat Man. Super. What the heck was that? I don't know, but whatever it was, it helped me. I got full energy. Ah, this game's driving me batty. Oh, come on, what? Ah, this idiot again. Ah, and these rooms confuse me. There we go. Oh, there's graffiti on the wall up there. Oh, what is that? Oh, dang. Shiny spiders now. Oh. At least it doesn't constantly beep like in Zelda. It's so annoying. Oh. Oh, was that an apple? another fun room to go into and never mind as I am this part right here and man it really has been forever I totally forgot like what to do in this game but again back then I was not good at this game anyway but it was still fun all right finally a new place Whoa, what the heck is that? What the? What did it do to me? It didn't do nothing to me, did it? Whoa. Ah, more of the Blues Brothers jumping off the bridge like an idiot. Man, someone burned a bridge in this game. Oh, alright. Is this Kid Icarus now? Bunch of purple everywhere. I thought that was a phone ringing for a second. I'm like, what? Because I had my phone next to me. I was like, no, nah, that that's not my ringtone. What the heck? I'm about to die here in a second. Yeah, 
I lo really love the soundtrack in this game. Yeah, we guy did a uh, eight-bit soundtrack, Shameless Plug. Ah, dang it! <coughs> that <coughs> sound effect was also used in Simon's Quest. I think it was. Yeah, when you try to buy something but you don't have enough currency to do it, yeah. That was that sound effect. Whoa! Ooh! Freaking uh, skeleton angel or whatever it was killed me. Now watch out for that thing and I feel like I'm playing Fizanadu again. Ah, wow, finally the hammer works. Or, or of course the hammer works, just that I finally found the right place to use it. Alright, so, I will see you guys in part two. Let's see how far I can get in part two. Until then, God bless and take care.